and three days, two nights, we were deprived of sleep, and we were thrown into this filthiest thing you can imagine. All of that was done, of course, for our health. I was uh, teaching about the story from Exodus, remember? Well, you know what? I want to continue. I don't know how far I will be able to get there. There's a lot to cover. Like Peter always says, you know, art has like 12 pages. <laughs> well, Mr. Peter, I do have 12 pages. I guess. So, there we go. The Israelites are marching on. The Egyptians are gone. Remember the story? And loaded with gold and silver and the finest clothes are being led the Israelites to the promised land. We, as church, we have a promised land. You understand that? Amen. God has given us promises. Amen. Every one of you, when you are part of the kingdom of God, you have the promises of God. Amen. As a child of God, as a son and daughter of God, you have received the promises of our almighty God. Our own, if you will, promised land. I came here with my family to this country, not because of money. Actually, I was doing pretty good in Greece. For half a year when we landed here, I was crying every single day. Because my El Dorado was in Greece, not here. <laughs> I came here for freedom. I came here because I was promised freedom, a promised land, if you will. I remember the meeting in embassy when the whole family was being questioned and asked, and the gentleman from the Canadian embassy said, sell your stuff, everything, all your business, your cars and everything you have, and come to Canada. We want people like you. Young people, business people, bring your money here, and we will promise you one thing, you will never be hunted down for your faith. Wow. Wow. Here we are today. So the Israelites are marching. We were marching, every one of us, in your even family line, came from somewhere. I mean, we all emigrated to this land from other places. Maybe not you, maybe your parents, maybe your grandparents. But we all came from somewhere. We came here. We came for the promised land. And here is a fascinating story. God fed them and showed them that he is their provider. We don't look at Kenny's corrupted government to be provided with necessities of life. We look at our God. Amen. Our God Amen. is our provider. And he showed that very clearly to the Israelites. When they were in the wilderness, he took care of them leading them day by day, and God wanted to turn the former slaves 